What is going on, everybody, and welcome on into the Stock Trends channel. So today we are talking about three crypto stocks that could continue to squeeze to the upside here as Bitcoin pushes on up. So we are looking at Bitcoin right now here in the morning hours, and it is 45,800 as we speak. The platform we're using here is Webull. You can actually buy crypto on Webull. Now, it's not like a wallet, but you can still buy and profit off the price action if that's something you're interested in doing. However, we can also trade stocks according to the Bitcoin price action. And so a lot of stocks this morning are making some big moves up after they've been pushing down for the past couple of months with Bitcoin fading back off from its highs up over 60,000 and down towards the lower 30,000 point. Those Bitcoin related stocks, those crypto mining stocks, they all took some serious hits. However, they are definitely setting up right now as Bitcoin has been pushing on up. So let's talk about some of those stocks. One, the first one we're going to mention is BTBT. That is this guy right here, Bit Digital. This stock was squeezing last week and looks like it is primed to continue doing that into this week. Why? In pre-market here, it is gapping up and trending to the upside. The highs from last week were up here towards $19.50. So over that level, up over $20 would be a nice breakout to the upside. Also look back here at the daily chart. Take a look at some of these highs. These highs, we can draw this line in right here. These highs actually line up pretty nicely up here towards that 19 19 50 level. So if BTBT breaks up over that level, it could be very, very possible to see this stock up in the mid 20s pretty quickly after it has been squeezing last week. Not to mention, if you take a look at what happened on Friday, we had the opportunity for those who were shorting this stock to potentially get out or get comfortable as it started to pull back off those highs. And if it squeezes up here this morning, up over 19, 1950, those shorts may be covering and adding to that buying volume and sending the stock even higher. Now, again, we do wanna make sure we, we press upon the point that you must be following Bitcoin. So if you're trading any of these stocks or watching these stocks for swing trades this week, you wanna watch Bitcoin. If Bitcoin gets rejected here at 46,000 and pulls back, that's not something you want to be seeing to go long these stocks. It could also be a great opportunity to go short some of these stocks as well if they make big moves. For example, BTBT, you can play options on it as well. They're going to be super volatile. They're going to be super expensive. So you make sure you understand what you're doing when you're, when you're playing the options. But it allows you to play the ups and the downs if Bitcoin pulls back hard that could be an opportunity on the downside for some of these crypto related plays. The next one we're going to be looking at here is SOS. Okay, take a look at this stock. It got beat down massively. Okay, this stock ran up huge back in February, and it was even still pretty elevated in March up here towards $10. But ever since that point, it kind of chopped around and slowly faded on off. This stock was trading down towards $2 just a few weeks ago, but we're starting to see it perk on up. Look at the past couple of days on SOS. Started to curl off that bottom. Looks like we have a $2.50 support starting to curl to the upside. If we take a look at what's going on with this morning's price action, SOS popped up to $4.00 and it's pulled back to roughly 350 as we speak. Yeah, could this stock be back down to three bucks and last time Bitcoin popped off its lows, SOS popped up in pre-market, popped up early and then faded off the rest of the day. One thing to note with SOS is that it does have quite the number of shorts, or at least it did have quite the number of shorts in it a while back. Had some short reports on it and it was beaten down, beaten down, beaten down. This stock, we look at the daily chart here, has some range. We are at that 350 right now. We have that $4 resistance that we saw this morning. After $4, if SOS clears over $4, 425 to 475 will be a key area to watch as well. That area up towards 475, that will be the highs that we've seen going back to mid-April. So you have to go back even beyond that to see SOS trading up over $5. So let's get there first if you're looking to long SOS. Watch SOS. Don't be looking at crazy price targets just yet. Not to mention this also is a stock that has been hit by Wall Street bets before. So it can have that potential for a bigger squeeze. However, the Wall Street bets crowd has less impact as of late as a lot of that kind of crowd has started to kind of lose interest in a sense. Just something to watch, somebody paying attention to. Uh, make sure you're aware of that. And then last but not least is Any. This stock had some news related to Bitcoin last week. So you want to take a look at Any. This stock is making big strides here so far in pre-market. We have a line in the sand right here. It is 565. So when you watch this video, if it's under 565, it may be bearish. Above 565, it is bullish, at least as of right now. Pre-market highs here at 645. This is a stock that obviously is elevated, right? So I personally, as someone who likes to trade off bottoms and buy, you know, low and sell high, obviously looking for lower risk reward or lower risk to a higher reward. This is definitely not the stock that has that set up on the long side. However, it could continue to squeeze shorts if Bitcoin pushes up, if BTBT, if SOS, if a lot of other crypto related plays continue to push to the upside. This is one to have on your radar. 
as well as also have on your radar for the downside. This stock can easily fill this gap back down toward $3.50 if Bitcoin pulls back the downside. So we're not just talking about the long side for these stocks. These are good stocks to play off the volatility here of Bitcoin, but the downside here will be awesome as well. Take a look at this. The stock is trading up here over 569, which would be up in this range this morning. This stock has plenty of room to come back down to get back down and fill this gap, which we see this gap on the chart that we have after it released some news last week. That's a pretty solid, substantial move back to the downside. So if you are looking to go long, and you don't play the short side, that's fine. Just understand that there could be some bigger dips. There could be some bigger downside here if the stock pulls back and if Bitcoin pulls back. Or if a lot of these stocks lose momentum, markets may be super red and, and whatnot. For whatever reason, that's the opportunity to the downside that shorts are looking to take advantage of as well. So there you guys have it. Those are three short squeeze candidates for this week when it comes to crypto related stocks. Of course, you have your riots, your Maras, your other kind of crypto mining plays as well. But these are some other ones that I think are a little bit less, uh, a little off the radar for some people. So want to point these out. Let us know in the comment section down below what other stocks you're looking at for this coming week, any other crypto plays, what your thoughts are on Bitcoin, Ethereum. I know there's the big debate, Bitcoin versus Ethereum. So we can talk about that in a future video as well. The platform we're using here is Webull. You can get two free stocks when you sign up and deposit $5 now on the platform, just five bucks, not even a hundred bucks like they used to do. So take advantage of that as we'll link it in the pinned comment and description box like always. Thank you guys so much for tuning on in. I appreciate every single one of you. Hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing for more videos if you are new here. Check out our other channels linked down below, and we'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.